kind of a quick question. So a guy named Tariq actually asked, uh, your great scenes that you've had with Tandy Newton over the last two seasons always been, you know, really uh, very intimate, very close between you and her whenever she's just waking up and you're working so closely with her. But mm. this time in the second episode of season three, you know, we have this scene where you're back with her, but you have to pretend like you don't recognize her or know her. And that was weird because we're so used to you guys, mm -hmm. you know, working so well together. Um, how was that for you to, you know, I mean, as an actor, obviously that's what you do as an actor, just to completely yeah. act like you don't know them, but you guys spent a long time yeah. on camera with this, you know, great relationship. What was that like? Uh, yeah, another great question. I remember it very very vividly actually mm. um going on set uh there was a sense of um uh everyone was kind of a little uncomfortable everyone was feeling a little really? uncomfortable, like what, what's going on you know um and but, but then you know her and i would you know chat as we usually do and get along you know like a house on fire and then the cameras <laughs> were rolling and it and when the cameras were rolling i remember very it felt so I felt like I was socially distancing. <laughs> 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 nice one. <laughs> uh -huh, got that in. Yes. Got that in. Yeah. Um, and so I, I do remember that when I filmed it, I, I got very sad. Mm. And her and I talked about that, actually, while we were filming. Mm. Uh, I think Simon Quarterman had just uh, done his scene with her. Mm -hmm. And so he was um, uh, kind of in this kind of, actor waiting area too that we'll you know we'd all go back there right. and I, uh we were saying like saying to them like oh i feel so sad because there's this distance yeah. now and yeah. you know but you know that that's just me as an as the human as a human person that's the feeling i have mm -hmm. right but as the actor mm -hmm. that you it's a different experience right but you know just when you're being real with someone you're just like yeah i feel sad but that's just part of the scene exactly that's part of what i hope the audiences would feel as part right. of the twist yeah which yeah everyone knows yeah and i can't imagine how tandy also felt too because in that scene the people who were who she was just with and was helping her now doesn't recognize her so it's almost like all of a sudden you wake up and you're alone and these familiar faces don't know you or recognize you mm -hmm. i know even for her she probably had to dig in a little deeper to kind mm -hmm. of you know be used to that because yeah it's like you're waking up in a dream where no one recognizes you and yeah you're like, like what's going on yeah <laughs> exactly she recognizes you know she recognizes you but you're looking back at her like yeah and what, you? What, what do you want <laughs> yeah and and i remember actually um when i the the part where i, I would turn around and walk out the glass doors mm -hmm. i remember walking down that hallway and i had the visor on and everything and i remember thinking don't turn around leo don't turn around because you know you're not supposed to right but right my instinct was to do that you know mm. was all to do that but you couldn't so wow um, yeah wow interesting very interesting. We well, all need that that um, that visor. Now. Right. And that they all kind <laughs> that of should have been yeah. a COVID-19. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what it is now, keeping us safe. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. um, one last question, though. Um, as a dad, I know you have two kids. Mm -hmm. And as a father, what aspects of the future depicted in Westworld are you kind of like hoping the show gets wrong? Or what aspects are you hoping that we uh, get right? And I know this may touch on what we might have discussed a little bit before, but yeah. um, because you know more of what the bigger picture of what the story is telling mm -hmm. um, than we do. I mean, we know from season one and two what the overall you know arc is for the whole show, but just out of your opinion, uh, what do you think they're going to get wrong? Hopefully. <laughs> oh, you know, I hope they get wrong the the dark dystopian world mm -hmm. that it's kind of set in you know i do certainly hope that my kids grow up in a world that um has a more of a conscience of and a consideration for other people and other beings mm -hmm. and not just all about um the the the, the essentially the companies i do hope that it all that it, it that they do that in real life we do get right the idea of 
equality and diversity make us all stronger. Right. And as opposed to um, this other world where only the few that are rich hold all the power mm -hmm. and, and the rest are all the bees. I, I do hope that they, that we, mm -hmm. we do live, end up living in a better world than what at the moment Westworld is showing us our world is like. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. I totally agree. Um, I think the only parts of the show that I get excited about that I love is I do love all the cool technology. Is there a piece of technology oh, yeah. you would love to drive or have? I mean, there's some cool stuff in it this season. There's some cool stuff. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I do hope they get, you know, lots of other things right, you know, like, and I do think that those things are pretty, you know, pretty kind of, you know, on the mark so far, you know, as, as the show has evolved, mm -hmm. I remember when I was reading the first season thinking like, hang on a minute, like, is this real? Like, wh wh when's this going to happen? And yeah. then, boom, two years later, you know, AI kind of really starts to fold into our lives. Yeah. And I was like, what? Um, yeah. And so, you know, you start to think of telemedicine. And I was like, how is that going to happen? Boom, that's happening now. I just had a, it is, a right, now. right now. Yep. Right now. Right yeah. now. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I... I I do love the the always love the design of the world that they do and uh, this new world that they're reflecting onto us of the real world so to speak. Uh, I do I love some of the cool design and stuff, the thoughtfulness of that. I, yes. I just love that stuff. Yes, that motorcycle. Remember oh. the first time we saw that trailer and when Dolores gets off, you see it rolls off by itself. You're like, oh, yeah, you're oh, like, yeah, God. that needs to happen. <laughs> Why hasn't that happened before? <laughs> the helicopter, the way it looked inside, just the whole design of it. I'm just like, yeah. what is that? Yeah. I mean, they really had some awesome, awesome tech um, yeah. in this. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this was more hev tech heavy, obviously, yeah. than previous seasons. You agree? Mm -hmm. I totally agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, I think they're, they're showing us again what you were saying, that uh, how reliant we are on technology. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And so uh, how how reliant it is on technology and how technology can really help us too right. to make life just supposedly easier. Um, but I do hope that we can continue to, to keep connecting with each other, if, whether it's through Zoom mm. or, you know, through some sort of like socially distanced thing, but still feel connected as a, as a society. I hope so. I think we will. I definitely think we will. Well, thank you so much for taking out oh, the time welcome. to chat with me on the computer this way, using yeah. technology for good. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, it was so great to see you again. And hopefully, you know, maybe next time, next season, we'll be able to all get together for another little shindig and do this whole thing in person. Yeah, that would be absolutely fantastic. I'd love that. Yes. And feel free to bring some of your friends like Tandy Newton and, you know, <laughs> Thompson and Bernard. Yeah, you can bring them along. You can say it's all right. You can tell them it's okay. I can say it's okay. They can bring them. <laughs> but thanks again and be safe right. and I take care. We'll too. talk soon. Wash your hands. Yeah, right. yeah I will. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay. Let me just.